What's up, you guys? This is Karmic Endings 1010, where we talk about karmic situations that could be going on in your life at this time that you need to be aware of. Or this could just be confirmation that you made the right decision or you are currently making the right decision. Archangel, spirit guides, ancestors of my highest good, please come in and protect me as I channel this current karmic energy. Please give me clear and accurate messages. All right. I like to thank you guys for all the likes, the shares, the comments, the subscribes. I appreciate you. All right. Eight of Swords. Three of Wands. So I feel like that somebody could be like really in their head about a situation. All right. That they are waiting on. All right. I feel like that somebody is doing like somebody is trying to do like some kind of manipulation here on someone. Okay. So yeah. I feel like somebody could be in their head about something that they are waiting on. Okay, so we're going to get into it and see what's going on. Page of Pentacles. Okay, but you're going to get some good news. <laughs> so, no worry. Okay, you're going to get some good news. For some of y'all, it's a new job. For some of y'all, you got the job. All right, some with a Virgo. All right. But you're going to get a message about something here. Okay. I feel like if you are in your head about a situation... I feel like that divine is going to send someone your way that you can trust here. All right. To help you out or to assist you in a situation. That's for somebody. All right. But this current karmic energy could really be in their head about a situation. This could be about some good news that you got. Okay. About moving forward. Okay. Yep. So this current karmic energy is in their head about you moving forward. So you could have told this person about a forward movement that you had. Okay. And this person could have been in, could have been in their head about it. Yep. I feel like that this person could be in their head about it. But I feel like with this Leo card at the bottom, I mean... I feel like this person don't understand what you go through behind closed doors. Okay. So this could be even somebody asking you for something. Okay. And somebody could just feel like, you know, that you don't have, you know, situations that you go through. Okay. May not be the same, but you have other things. And I feel like that someone just, the only thing that they see is for a movement balance and a strong foundation but i feel like that this person don't understand what you go through behind closed doors nine of swords okay and i feel like that this person for some of y'all this person could be competing with you okay or this is a person um coming in with some kind of conflict or something like that okay Page of Cups. Yeah. I feel like that this person is going to come in and try to play on your emotions and stuff like that. All right. Somebody could be an introvert. Okay. Yeah, I feel like that this current karmic energy could have gotten a message about your forward movement and stuff like that. And I feel like that this person is in their head because you are moving forward. Okay, this person don't understand why all the conflict that they tried to throw towards you that it didn't work here. Okay, and I feel like that this person could be having a big transition in their life. 
and this person need your help okay so you could have been in a situation and you could have had some forward movement in your situation you know what i'm saying you could have had a little hiccup or something like that and i feel like that this person thought that you was going to be stuck and you wasn't stuck you were still able to move forward you was good things are still balanced out for you and shit and i feel like that this is really putting this person here all right this person is really in their head about your forward movement you know past conflict and shit all right yeah yeah but i feel like the way this person handles you know situations they could be very angry and very forceful and shit and i feel like for you you're very like balanced you're very just you know i know divine gonna work it out i'm straight you know i'm good i'm all right and i feel like this is really hurting this person feelings that you really just aligned like you know divine is gonna provide you know you're gonna be all right like, you know your household going to be balanced out. You know you're going to be straight. Whatever. You're going to be all right. Okay? So, I feel like you're not worrying. Two of Cups. Yeah, and I feel like that's why this person want to come together with you. Okay? In a situation. Because I feel like that this person feel like you can heal whatever that they have going on within their life. Okay? This person feel like you can heal this. Something about a cancer. Okay. This person feel like you can heal something with them. Yep. I feel like that this person look at you as like good luck. Okay. And this person wants you glued to them. Because I feel like that this person know that. I feel like you give this person some kind of ambition. Okay in a situation this current karmic energy okay i feel like that you give this person some kind of and like that kind of extra push you know what i'm saying like that they need okay you give this person that extra push yep anxiety nine of swords clarify this Yep, I feel like you making this person look back on what they invested in, okay, in a situation. And I feel like that this person could have ended some things, the death card, okay. And I feel like this person's persevering and standing their ground with choosing another path that they are working on, okay. Okay. So I feel like that that's you guys. I feel like you are staying focused. I feel like that somebody felt like they thought they was going to have you in they, in your head. But I feel like that you are not. And I feel like for some of y'all, you could have looked back on the situation or you're going to. And I feel like you're going to totally end something. Somebody could be a CEO. Okay. A CEO of a company. I'm hearing something about a car company. Somebody could own like a car lot or something like that. I'm hearing something about um, some kind of property or something like that. Some kind of property. This property could be um, out the state or across the country, like in another country, or it's in another state. Okay. Yep. That's what I'm seeing here. Somebody could be a um, firefighter. Okay, I'm hearing that too. Yep. I feel like with the Six of Pentacles here, I feel like that... Somebody is like feeling entitled to you is what I'm hearing. Somebody can feel entitled to you. Okay. I feel like that this person could be like in a negative mindset. Okay. I feel like if this person is suffering, they want you to suffer too. If, if they doing good, they don't have a problem with you doing good too. But when they suffering, this person wants you to suffer. This person don't want you to be uh, up and doing good and, and moving up and shit. This person wants you to suffer with them okay in the situation and this person is really in their head about 
like things like moving forward for you okay some of y'all could have had a forward movement on a property or something like that a big payout on a property or something like that and i feel like for some of y'all this person they really got in their head about some shit like damn like nothing keep you down huh <laughs> nothing keep you down you know what i'm saying so i feel like that this person is looking out and seeing you okay like manifest shit okay like your manifestations is coming true i feel like that you just staying balanced and shit and you you good you are right okay and if you are running into situations you know everything gonna be straight okay you're not worried okay for some of y'all and some of y'all you just good you know what i'm saying to a swords okay Also, this is a situation could be that this could be somebody doing, you know, trying to do shit on you, y'all. You know how that goes. Somebody always trying to do some shit. And I feel like that this person is having anxiety because you keep being peaceful in your situation. You keep standing on what you saying. This is giving me like, I'm standing on what the fuck I said. And that's period. Okay. And I feel like somebody is in their head about that because you standing on what the fuck you said. You're not budging. Okay? You, you're not budging. You standing on what you said. And I feel like that that's putting somebody like, damn. You know, somebody could be in that, that behavior where they just want to make a quick decision. You know, to do some shit. Like, I'm going to get what the fuck I want. I'm going to get what I want. That's what I hear. Okay? Somebody is saying, I'm going to get what I want. So, somebody could be in the process of, like, transitioning um, into another phase in their life. And it's somebody that's in their energy. This person is younger than them. Okay? This could be a younger Pisces or a younger Virgo. Okay? This person is younger than them. And I feel like that this person is like trying to comfort them and shit. Okay. This person is trying to comfort them. Or an Aquarius as well. Yep. This person is trying to comfort them. And somebody is trying to make a transition. But somebody doesn't like that they are making a transition. Because that transition means that somebody got to get kicked out okay out of the equation here and somebody doesn't like that so someone is in that well i'm gonna get what i want kind of energy okay yep and somebody is just standing stalemate they keeping the peace they not you know what i'm saying like no i'm i'm standing on what i said okay it wasn't an easy decision that somebody made but somebody is standing on what they said okay Somebody is not budging because I feel like somebody looked back on something and they seen what it really was in the situation. And I feel like somebody ended it. Okay. Give me something here on the seven of pentacles. The seven of pentacles. Seven of pentacles. Yep, somebody looked back and seen what somebody did. Yep, somebody seen that somebody invested in magic to have to have future plans with them. Yep, sure did. Somebody just got exposed, okay, or somebody about to get exposed of what somebody tried to manipulate to uh win something somebody tried to manipulate and somebody invested in it too yep i feel like somebody was going off of like an impulse knight of swords that's out here twice because someone wanted a forward movement and this was something new that somebody got into this was like new creative energy somebody got into because somebody was in that obsession when it came to this soulmate so 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so somebody was like, they just did what they felt like they had to do, y'all. This is <laughs> because somebody kept being in this energy. Four of Cups, not budging, not budging, not budging, right? And I feel like somebody got into that Knight of Swords, like, okay, I'm coming through regardless, okay? Like impulsive behavior kind of energy. But I feel like somebody still was standing on what they said or someone is led to, okay, in a situation. Stand on what you say. Something about a stay-at-home mom. Somebody can have natural hair. No kids. Blue jean. Somebody can love blue jeans. Or you can have blue jeans on now while you're watching this reading. <laughs> Tone or muscular. Somebody can have a Ford. Starbucks. Right arm tattoos. This is crazy. Mental health issues. Someone that loves heels. I feel like this person that you are separated from at this time, this person watches you heavy. Right hand, accent. Somebody could have a chest tattoo and a sleeve tattoo. Right leg tattoos, left hand. Yeah, somebody was definitely down to do some left-handed shit. Light skin tone with a big butt. Aries, sports. So I'm about 50s. But divine lady, you know you a divine being. Socks with flip flops. Virgo, drug addict. Sagittarius. No beard. Yeah, I'm telling y'all some real ass shit. Neck tattoos. motorcycle SUV short straight hair and colored hair and we have a workaholic all right y'all <laughs> these motherfuckers I tell you so Aries, Libra, Taurus, um, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Virgo, Aquarius, Cancer. So a lot of Aquarius, Cancer, and Virgo. All right. Sagittarius, Aries, Pisces. Okay. It's crazy. Mm -mm. Something with Capricorn, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer. All right, so somebody can have a Rolex, somebody can love Coca Cola. 
okay? Something about Rock or Roxanne, Rory, R-O-Y. All right. This could be about same sex. Somebody's name could be J-J-A-Y. Something about a farm as well, I'm hearing. Okay. Somebody's name could be Al, like Alan, or Al, Alonzo, Colorado. Somebody's name could be J-A-H something. 51, 56, 57, 61, 65, 67, 76, 75, 71. All right. Something with coral. Something with coral. All right. Jerome. Something with Jerome. All right. Something about a cloak. Something about a cloak. All right. So someone is trying to cloak your energy. So this person is trying to sneak and cloak your energy. Wow. Yep. Somebody is trying to cloak your energy. <laughs> and I feel like somebody may realize that. That somebody is nothing but a copycat energy. Like, this person is not, like, legit, like, who they say they are. They trying to cloak someone else's energy here. Like, wow. Yeah. I feel like somebody ain't nothing but a roach. <laughs> Listen. I told y'all my ancestors is funny. What I tell y'all? Ancestors say this person ain't nothing but a roach. Okay? That's what my ancestors say. <laughs> That's what they say. This person is nothing but a roach. Okay? Somebody's name could be Rachel. I'm just done. <laughs> Something about a roach, yo. Oh. Mm. Okay, wow. Like that's who this person is for real, like on the inside. Or this person could look like a roach or something like that, okay? Look, something about a car could be significant. All right. Something about a car, all right? All right, you guys, something with L-A-R. Somebody name could be L-A-R. Okay. Something with Jerisha, I'm hearing. All right, you guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Look in the description box below for any other information about me. And until next time, peace.